today we're at Loch Katrin. This is the start of Glasgow's water supply. In the early 1800s, water in Glasgow was supplied either by public wells or by enterprising businessmen. Disease was rife in Glasgow and following the outbreak of cholera in 1848, the city fathers at that time decided that they wanted to improve the water supply to Glasgow. They wanted to bring a clean, fresh supply to the city of Glasgow and improve the general health of its citizens. They commissioned John Frederick Bateman, then an eminent engineer who had recently completed the Manchester water supply. They commissioned him to put together a scheme and in 1855 that scheme was approved by an Act of Parliament, so the go-ahead was given to actually build this scheme. This scheme involved uh, damming Loch Catron, raising the dam and raising the level of Loch Catron so that it would provide a resilient water supply always available for the city of Glasgow. And part of this today, what you see here, is the headworks for that scheme. From here, water was piped to Glasgow, 26 miles, uh, 13 kilometres in tunnels, and the rest of it done either by pipeline or by cut and fill. The great thing about this scheme is it was a it was an engineering miracle of the day. Civil engineers, people who built it, it was all built by hand. From this point to Glasgow, the pipe travels 26 miles and only falls 22 feet over that length. What's fantastic about that? Well, it was all done without computers, it was all done without lasers. It was all done without GPS. It was all done by hand. What a fantastic engineering miracle this particular scheme is. The scheme was opened by Queen Victoria in October 1858. There was a huge celebration here on the banks at this very place. Uh, the Queen opened it from Royal Cottage, which is in the immediate vicinity of where I'm currently standing. The connection between this scheme and the modern day is that in 2002, Scottish Water built a brand new water treatment works uh, just north of Glasgow, which brought the water standards up to their modern standards. Again, making sure that we we're connecting the historical legacy of this scheme to a project that provides a legacy going forward for future generations of the citizens of Glasgow. This scheme was built in 1855. Today, in 2015, this scheme is in excess of 160 years old. It has stood the test of time. The generations since 1855 have drank the water from this scheme. They have used the water in industry. The economic wealth of Glasgow has been built on the back of this scheme. We hope that in future this scheme will last way into the future. It will provide another 100 years of water supply to Glasgow. What's fantastic about civil engineering is something you can see, something you can touch. There's a legacy here today that's 160 years old. It's been used by generations of people for that 160 years. I would like to see lots of young people coming into this profession. It's an exciting profession. Design things, construct things, build things, leave that legacy for future generations of mankind.